I just came back from looking outside my window and here I am to tell you some interesting stories about the Bitcoin Maxi cult. Many people simply don't get it. But you do. That's why you like, subscribe, press the bell button and all. You are here for juicy information. We want to interpret the signals around us. Even though not all coins are moving and it's a very small subsector of when things do move, we have a lot to learn, especially about network effects, Metcalf's law, everything about crypto. The applications can only go so far. There are cycles that pump and then they dump and you're left with nothing. But if there is a cult, you see that nothing part, well, you've got a floor now. And then you go for the next one. You see, cults can go up to the right like that. There are different forms of cults, different groups, different communities. Some people use the word guild. I like the word cult. People try to say it's a bad word. It's not a bad word. Being inside the Bitcoin maxi cult has taught me a lot of things about effective marketing. And man, oh man, do those Bitcoin maxis, they do not like it when they find their way to my Twitter and they discover what's in my biography. If you click on my bio, friends, you can see my history of poop coinery. This is the previous bull market. I don't put any of these new recent trash coins. It's it's nothing like you're in out seven hours or you're, you're playing around with a day, 99% of rugs. It's not fun. That's nothing. Okay. We want something where, okay, we're going to get in the Bitcoin halvening year and then we're just going to hold it and see how the cycle plays out. Or at least you get a three to six month run. That's why it's super important, by the way. It's super important when we're looking at these candles that you want to look at these monthly candles, friends. So, th so this is basically what you're playing for. What you're playing for is this one, two, three, four, five, six. This is literally the whole crypto. Everything you're in crypto comes down to that. Every single reason comes down to that. Same as this. This is 2017. And if we go back in time as well, this is it. One, this is probably when it went hugely nuts. Okay, one, two, three up here. There's also one, two, three, four. You see these, these big mint monthly green candles in a row? That's actually what you call the bull market. And what actually people call the start of all the good things to come. It's not. It's actually the end. So all these coins, I mean, people got really upset because I had other coins here. And that's okay. But you've got a lot to learn. All right. We do have a lot to learn. I'm going to share with you. Bitcoin Maxi cult, Best cult in crypto. Strongest. 220 million people in the Bitcoin Maxi cult. They're now onboarding politicians, governments. They've got Roca Negra coming in. And they've tempted Roca Negra to come in and try infiltrate. Thank you, Satoshi. Thank you for getting Roca Negra to come buy our bags. Blackberry, Lazar Fink, the reptilians, they're coming. They want it. This is, the, this is the whole game. All right. But it's got diminishing returns. We know this. But we can still learn from them. I like this message from them. If you've noticed, a lot of the Bitcoin maxis, they'll always say, they want to take your Bitcoin. Ah! This is a direct correspondence to religious cults where you go into the little church cabin and then there's like the, you know, the, the leader and they say, they want to take your babies. And this is it right here. Fred Phelps. He's from the West Borough Church. You know, those people that have the sign that God hates F word, you know, like, you know, God hates everything. Um, <laughs> this is it. This is literally it. It's almost 18 months now and the siege has got people eating their babies. And they're small children. And each other. You're going to eat your babies. <laughs> Friends, this is my inspiration for everything right here. They're going to take your Bitcoin. They're going to eat it. <laughs> it. It works. It works. Did you see that in church? No one was even batting an eye. They're like, yeah, that's it. They're coming to eat our babies. That's just how it is. They're going to take your Bitcoin. It's what they say in the Bitcoin community. It works. You're probably wondering, all right, my friend Somi, how on earth does this work when Bitcoin is clearly diminishing gains? You know, you used to do 20,000 X, then 600 X, then 100 X, then a 20. Now it's going to do a five. Okay, probably a five. Maybe if we're lucky, 10. Wouldn't that be great? Diminishing. How are they able to get past that? What they do is they increase the size of the enemy's position that wants to accumulate. So now what they say is they say $17 trillion is coming after your Bitcoin. 
There you go. See that? Not making this up. This is true. You can go look it up. I know you won't because I do all the work here for you. That's why you like, subscribe. They always say, don't sell to them. I can't help. I, when I'm in these communities and these groups, I have to stay muted. I have to use anonymous names. I can't go in, friends. If I start talking, I break character. It's just too fun. And it's funny. <laughs> you can't. They'll realize, hey, this guy's got a peanut brain. You can actually apply these marketing messages to any coin. It's important. You know, most people, you just don't get it. But you, now you're going to get it, all right? There's 420, real number, 420 million people in crypto right now. 220 million of them are in BTC, okay? So 420 million in total crypto, right? We're trying to onboard the world. If we get to 1 billion, that means there is... 600 million people coming in. If you look at the Bitcoin dominance, let's, let's assume it's still 50-50. That means you're basically going to get 300 million people coming in for poop coins. 300 million. Now, I reckon it's going to be actually more than that because good luck to the Bitcoin dominance staying 50-50. No chance. But 300 million people, conservative. You're telling me you can't find some people? You will be able to. Everybody's going to be on Twitter, YouTube, comment section. Friends, I'm telling you right now, Everything you speak into the universe, it reverberates out there. I have said words on Twitter. They do a loop. I'm now watching a YouTube influencer. I'm like, wait a minute. I've been watching this dude for like three years. He's never used that word before. That's my word. That's my thinking. And I'm like, oh, that's right. We are still here and strong. They've come in on the back foot. They only come in when the green candles come. They've come in to have a peak temporarily. We're all making the noise. That's how we win. Friends, you ever played any sports game? They sometimes say the best type of defense is offense. That's what we're doing right now. That's what you got to do. These words, words you speak, I'm telling you, words you speak and you type just on the internet. You think you're talking into nothing? You aren't. I promise you, you aren't. Every word you do on Twitter... It reverberates. Doesn't matter how small your followers are, I'm telling you it does. It impacts me. I share stuff. I reshare stuff. I read the comments. You can literally apply this type of thinking to any single coin. Okay, look at this Peppy. Nice and proud. Right on the tippy end. I see this messaging everywhere. It is great. And it's funny to us because we know the truth, right? It's very effective. We're going to build this base. So I use it with everything. They want to take your chain link. The Ethereum maxis want to take your Pulse chain. Binance doesn't want you to know that Pulse chain is more useful. It works. It works. You might not think it works now, but that's because there's like 15 survivors and 150,000 dead bodies right now. Candles are going to turn green. People are going to come back. Guess what? Been that people, like, I've got to tell you this, okay? In the past two years, you know how everyone's been taking losses? Guess what? People have been working jobs. They've been saving up money for two years. And in the three-year mark, they're going to have money to come and invest. They've saved up another 20000 They're going to come back in. The casino's still open. Okay? The Bitcoin Maxis want to take your precious Hex G shares. I know. I know. It works. Of course it works. And unfortunately... If you don't adapt, you're going to find this out the hard way. This is why I have this post here. So Bitcoin University, it's a YouTube uh, Bitcoin Maxi channel. I really like enjoying the content. So the guy runs it, Matty, um, really smart guy. Um, he calls Ethereum <laughs> a pre-mined scam about every five episodes. He doesn't like Hex, of course, doesn't like any poop coin. He calls he calls altcoins ship coins, ship, right? In terms of like, there's he says there's ship coins, right? Because oh, it sounds like the poop word, but also because you need a product to be shipped because, you know, Bitcoin is pure and created and it doesn't ever need to be modified. So do you see, see these cute words, man? You got to learn from these ship coins. I love it. I love it. Right. Bitcoin Max is unfortunately though, this is the unfortunate part. They're actually running out of content to make. How do I know this? It's because I'm starting to see they got, they got. They got no more narratives, man. I'm starting to see the same whirlwind. I'm like, man, it's over. It's over. You just, you really, 
y- your candle can't go up as much anymore. People can't even dream of a multiplier anymore. They can't. So, you know, they still keep calling Ethereum a dying scam chain. There's no more number got potential for Bitcoin anymore. So you're thinking, okay, who's holding? I'll tell you who's holding. The people with like 1,000 plus Bitcoin because every 2x that goes up, they enjoy it. Every 10% that goes up, they enjoy it. But the diminishing games are real. So look, you just made a video, right? Ethereum is dying. Sad. You know, they talk about Ethereum dying. Like, oh, it's no more maximizing on de- decentralization. You see, these narratives are cool to keep everybody active, but unfortunately, they're just not enough because we know, do, do you care about decentralization as much? No, you don't. Everyone here is full of financial entertainment and the money, etc. For example, when you go on Facebook, do you really care that they're looking at your stuff? Yeah, 5% of us do. 95% of people don't care that Facebook's perving in on everything. They literally don't care. They just want to talk and your racist things and just chat with friends and like stuff, share memes. They don't actually really care about that. We care. But we've got to think... Where's all the money? Okay, the 95% of people. Shout out to Bert here from the MISC bodybuilding days, by the way. That's why in my message, friends, I said it looks like the top for Bitcoin dominance might be in. That's why when we look at this Bitcoin dominance, just be honest with yourself, okay? If this was a coin, all right, this was a coin. This isn't a log chart. If this was a coin, you'd be like, okay, uh, something doesn't look good here. Doesn't look good at all. At all. The way this chart is structured. This is the Bitcoin dominance chart, right? But it's not, if Bitcoin dominance goes down, it doesn't mean Bitcoin's bad. It just means Bitcoin succeeded because Bitcoin started, it birthed the cryptocurrency industry and a lot of Bitcoin maxis, they hate the word crypto, by the way. They say Bitcoin only. They say screw crypto. But this means everything's winning. So the fact that Bitcoin here's a dominance is going down, that means what we've been able to do is make Bitcoin the layer zero of crypto and have this like stable money in case anybody needs it. Not that everybody does, but in case we need it, it's there. And then we've been able to build all the other poopy poop projects out there. This is what we, this is what the people want. We can't sit here and tell them it's bad and then like expect them all to listen because it's not going to happen. People, people know smoking's bad. They still do it. People know gambling's bad. They still do it. People know that stocks give you literally no rights. You can't change the menu at McDonald's if you own the stock. How many times do I have to tell you? You can't go tell the CEO, well, I've got $4 of McDonald's chair. You've got to listen to me. No one cares, Abib. No one cares. It's a Ponzi. Everything's a greater full Ponzi. You need more people coming in. They need to print more money. We understand that game. Do people care? No. No. No, they don't. What do they, what do they care about? They invest based off emotions. They want to read a story. They want to join the story and the narrative. They want to be part of a campaign and they want to buy when the candles are green. And then they want to buy, they want to sell when the candles are red because that means to end their pain. That's what they want, right? So this cycle is going to keep continuing and me and you, we're going to remain friends. Make sure you like, subscribe, but not too much. I would appreciate them. Bitcoin dominance. It's the key to our future. Catch you the next one.